This is our fourth uh, video right now in our series on solving probability problems. And we want to bring to your attention that at the website at digital-university.org, there's a whole series of videos there where we solve different types of permutation problems and also different types of combination problems. And we draw upon the knowledge from these earlier videos here for a lot of the probability of problems that we have to solve. So if we're referring to a particular math technique or if we're referring to information that was in the earlier videos and you're not familiar with that information, if you can go to the website and click on the combinatorics and probability section, there you'll find the earlier videos that we were referring to. Okay, in this one, we have again what should be a pretty straightforward problem. It reads like this. The probability that a man will live after 20 years is one-fifth. The probability that his wife will live another 20 years is one-fourth. And we are asked three questions. What is the probability that both of them will be alive after another 20 years? What is the probability that neither of them will be alive? And what is the probability that only one of them will live another 20 years? And solving parts A and B is pretty straightforward. So is part C, but part C is going to make us think a little bit. But let's continue here, and let's see if we can solve part A and B. Here, we can think of it like this. We can say event E1 is the event that the man will be alive. And the probability of that happening is one-fifth. And then E1C is the complementary event. And in this case, the complementary event would be the man is dead. And the probability of E1C, of course, is one minus one-fifth. So the probability of E1C is four-fifths. Now, E2 will be the event that the woman is alive after 20 years, and the probability of that happening is one-fourth, and the complementary event, E2C, would be that the woman is dead, and the probability of that happening will be three-fourths. Okay, so now we want to consider what is the probability after 20 years that the man is alive and the woman is alive. They're both alive. So we can express that symbolically as like this, like we did in the previous videos. And for independent events, this is just simply equal to the probability of E1 times the probability of E2. And the probability of E1 is one-fifth. And the probability of E2 was one-fourth. So the probability that both of them will be alive after 20 years is 1 out of 20. So here, after 20 years, there's a one-fifth chance that the man will be alive. There's a one-fourth chance that his wife will be alive. There's a 1 out of 20 chance that after 20 years, both of them will be alive. Now, the second part of the problem was, what is the probability after 20 years that both of them will be deceased? So we can write this down symbolically. This would be E1C
this is the probability of event E1, the man is dead, and the event E2, the woman is dead, has both happened, and of course that is equal to the probability of E1C times the probability of E2C. And the probability of E1C is four fifths. And the probability of E2C was three fourths. So that equals three fifths. So there's a sixty percent chance that after 20 years both the man and the woman will be deceased. Okay, that's the first two parts of the problem and again that should be pretty straightforward. Hopefully we explain it in a straightforward way. Now, what we want to do is consider this situation where after 20 years one of the couple is alive, which of course means that the other couple, the other individual, is deceased. Okay, so after 20 years we're saying one of them is alive, one of them is dead, but if we think about this now in more detail, that means then that there's two ways that that event can happen. It could be that the man is alive, so that would mean the woman is dead, so let's write it down, just very crudely, man alive, and woman dead. Okay, or it could be that the man is dead and the woman is alive. Or, and again just write it down very crudely, man dead and woman. alive. Okay, now how can we express this situation here mathematically? So let's see what we have. Man alive, that is event E1. And woman dead, so that would be like this. And the woman dead is E2C. So we have this event or this other event. And remember how we designated that in the past videos like this, or, and now we have this event, the man is dead, that's E1C, and the woman is alive that's event E2. So this would be the mathematical expression of this right here. Okay, now remember from the, well, first of all, let's talk about this joint situation. This is the man is alive, the woman is dead, the woman is alive, the man is dead. Obviously this joint condition is mutually exclusive to this joint condition here. So we have one or the other and both of these are mutually exclusive conditions. And remember um, from our past videos that if we have it where you have two events and they're mutually exclusive, they can't happen at the same time, then 
the probability of having one event or the other event is equal to the probability of this plus the probability of this. If they were not mutually exclusive, as we diagram down here, then it's a bit more of a complicated formula. It's the probability of A plus the probability of B minus the probability where A and B can occur together. But this is not complicated. We have, again, mutually exclusive events. So that means that this will equal, I'm going to write it down here now. This is the key part of the problem. This will be equal to the probability of this plus the probability of this event. And we should say, well, we'll just leave it like this for now for lack of space. The probability of So, the probability of this occurring or this occurring, and again, we'll put probability here. The, is equal to the probability of this event occurring plus the probability of this event occurring. Okay, now we're almost finished because this right here is just simply the probability of E1 times the probability of E2C then we have plus and this expression is just like we did in the past videos for these independent events we have the probability of E1 E1C times the probability of E2. Let's just stop and comment for a moment. Here, this is the probability that the man is alive and the wife is deceased. And we're taking these as independent events. And in reality, it may not be an independent event. Um, if the wife dies, that might affect the um, husband's health and he may die prematurely but for the, this problem here we're taking them as independent events so as we've done in the past problems then when you have this event and this independent event the probability of that happening is you multiply the probability of the independent events together same thing down here so what do we have this means that the probability that the man is still alive, that was one-fifth, times the probability that the wife was deceased, that was three-fourths, plus the probability that the man was deceased, let's try to get things in better focus, that's four-fifths, times the probability that the woman, the wife, was still alive, that was one-fourth. So let's see, here we have three-twentieths plus four over twenty equals 7 over 20. So there it is. That's the probability then that after 20 years the husband will be dead and the wife will be alive or the wife will be alive and the husband will be deceased. So that's it for this problem. Um, hopefully we didn't make it too long for you. But even with the simple probability problems um, you got to kind of go through and think it through step by step as to what principles apply. And even if you're just doing simple 
um, fracture multiplications, take your time, do it carefully. It's it's very simple to make uh, uh, a stupid mistake. So just take it take it slow and one step at a time, and hopefully the problems will make sense to you. Anyway, that's it for this problem. Uh, come back, join us for the next video, and we'll try and solve some more complicated problems.